In this video, I asked my editor to send me the best of TikTok's tips and tricks for Siege. And today, we're going to try to expose all the fake ones. But before that, consider liking and subscribing and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, what do we got here? Best spawn peak on cafe. Well, I actually know this spawn peak. So you got to break all that stuff and then the chair and then you can run over and jump on this. My friend has shown me this a few times and I've tried my best to do it. But I can never actually do it. That's awesome. This is one of the best spawn peaks. The only problem is like if they spawn over by the east side, you're probably going to die. Because uh, that spawn could just see the window like over by his left. But yeah, that's a great spawn peak. Definitely. I'm not a professional Rainbow Six Siege player, but here's a really simple and effective mic. Okay, hold on. Bro, let me already tell you guys. Listen, I already know what he's going to do. And I, I'm going to tell you why it's not that good. He's going to place a maestro downstairs. He's probably going to break the like blue hatch and he's going to place the like my show cam there and you're going to be able to see it through the floor use to stop them from getting the main breach upstairs and let's watch impact the floor in front of bedroom breach and use your bailiff yep. to clean up some debris uh, then you're going to head down to basement and place your maestro yep. cam in one he's just going to shoot a hole in the floor screen. okay you can also do the hatch floor, right above your maestro cam to allow your maestro cam to have a line of sight that looks at breach all right <sighs> and shoot whatever's on wall hold on let's see what else he has to say you can do this from the hatch, by the way. If you if you go to blue hatch, you can do it from there as well. Okay, listen. This isn't like the worst strat ever, right? Like, like obviously it's pretty good. Problem is like the setup kind of takes a while. Like you saw him in the beginning, like impacting all of this. And then he, you have the shotgun it to clean it up as well. And if you're using both your impacts here, that means when you go downstairs, you have to use the bailiff to shotgun the holes there. So really, like you impact twice here, shock on all of this, drop, go all the way from third floor to first floor just to make these holes. Like it just takes too much time. And like my shit's really not all that good. If you run through a door or a wall breaching it straight on, you'll take anywhere. Got to put it in the corner. Instead, angle the charge upwards. Yep. If the damage spreads out in a cone, you'll take no damage from barricades and only a little bit from walls. This can be used to take quick map control or when enemies aren't paying attention in sight. Happy rushing and make sure to follow for more tips. That's a good tip. That's why I normally I've actually gotten questions on this before. Normally you'll see people. I, I actually didn't know that you could shoot it uh, at the dead middle of the door. So I guess I'm kind of an AI for that. But apparently if you shoot it right here, it won't do any damage. But I, I know like a lot of people were asking me like, why, why do I shoot the ash charge in the top corners? That's why if you shoot it in the corners, or I guess like the top here, you just like don't take any damage. It's a pretty, pretty good strap. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what is this? You get do you get blown up through that? No way. What? Me doing it in a diamond lobby. Okay. Guys, I've never seen this before. This is actually kind of crazy. Hold on. Alright. And he's mapping he's map tricking. And he just killed him through it. Wow. That is cool, bro. I've never seen that before. Let's hear it, Athena. Is because you're repeating the same mistakes every single time. He's spitting. When you're attacking Villa in Rainbow Six, stop okay. only going through the study balcony every single time. Yes, you know bro. It. You know, if you only go through the study balcony with all four of your teammates here, you're, you're holding the same angles. Because you have people everywhere all looking at one door. Yes. Instead, you should be taking bottom main. You should be coming yep. master side over. You should even go nine to your pal. Just diverse. Anything. And realize, do not repeat the same mistake. Axe, yeah, bro. Man. And you know what's funny? I was I was trying to help my brother learn this game recently. And the, the number one thing I kept telling him to do is like if you see like multiple of your teammates around you and you're all holding the same angle, like you gotta reposition, man, because you guys aren't getting anything done. That's exactly what Athena's saying here. Like you'll you'll have everybody repel on the study balcony. You have like three, four teammates, like you said, just all trying to hold like the same like three angles. Like you gotta switch it up, man. Great advice by Athena the bottom of the barricade it's really really loud so all right so let's see a braxton uh, this is pretty old do is punch the yellow piping on barricade. i think everybody should know that by now right the yellow lining on the barricade it will not give that loud audio but it still counts it makes it makes a little bit of sound but he's right what people will do at a professional level is i'll shoot the barricade yeah and then punch the yellow part of the barricade all right yeah, I mean, that's right. I feel like everybody should know about that, though. I'm not hating on the tip. It's a good tip. I just feel like everybody should kind of, like, know about that now, right? 
I'm not a professional Rainbow Six Siege player. But <laughs> Yo, guys, do you think this guy's not a professional Siege player, or do you think he is a professional Siege player? I swear to God, who? I'm not sure who this guy is, but I mean, he's giving good advice, so I'm not hating on him at all. But I just, I like his intro. I find it, I find it funny. It's good. It's good. I'm not a professional Rainbow Six Siege player, but here's some really nice master cams you can use on shelves. He's got some good spots. I can't lie. You shoot the two little shelves out and then break this. This is where I place my Goyo trap all the time. If you guys watch like my full games on Chalet when I play Goyo. I place one in this exact spot because you could shoot it and it'll go to the plant spot. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty good spot. The only problem is if there's a uh, a grenade that blows up that plant, it could be a problem. He's got another one for us? Okay. He's got some good Maestro spots. The only problem is Maestro is really not that good in the current meta. All right, what's Varsity got for us? Pro tip in one second. Old pre-fire button. You know, he's spitting. Luckily, this has been nerfed, though. Thank God this is nerfed. Can you imagine? This is what we had to deal with for, like, nine months or something like that until they finally nerfed LMGs this season. Uh oh Oh, my God. That's just so AIDS. LMG gaming. Yeah. That is so bad. Siege tip in 20 seconds. Destroy bandit batteries or mute jammers off of CCTV walls safely. Okay, everybody knows about this, right? What are we doing? Just under this brick line. Oh, okay. So there's like some ash charge lineups. Like some Sova stuff from Valorant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's good advice. Everybody should know this. I feel like everyone should know this by now, but like if you if you don't already... Now you do. I think this is old though, um, because it's not so difficult to figure out where you should uh, ash charge anymore. So he's saying to line it up with this uh, line here, which is fine. You can see this clip is old because the entire floor is of the same material. In the new update, they actually changed that to where uh, the parts where you can't ash charge are just concrete. So you would basically just ash charge where the gray part of the floor stops. Clubhouse is one of the big chasing this wall on Clubhouse. All right. The biggest misplays in R6. There might okay. be a much better option here as vaulting through the ace holes leaves you super vulnerable. It does. A much better way to use your it really does. Nav or thermite gets the main breach open. Use your Selmas to open the Raptors wall instead. Yeah, that wall is great to open up. Times you have three, meaning they won't be able to impact trick every single one. You can then use True. the CC breach repel to take out the Raptors player, even if he's trying to prone and cover. Yeah, so the only problem you'll run into with that specific strat is sometimes there will be a person playing like top red that's able to shoot it. Uh, or there will be someone playing just to the right. Let's see if I can get it on the screen. Yeah, yeah, right here. Uh, this this shield spot right here. There will people be playing here and you can shoot it off if you get the right angle. It's a little bit difficult, um, but if you get the timing right, you can shoot them off. So it's best to have someone go like CC window when you do this, to, like hold an angle on the shield and hold an angle on the red door here. That way, if like someone is trying to shoot it off, uh, they kind of can't. You know what I mean? Rainbow Six player, and here's the most insane Twitch drone on oh. now. Head to the Ooh, that is crazy. You spawn in and find this hash mark on the ground. Aim up by the server. Yeah, respect to this guy for finding all these spots. Tossing your Twitch drone from here will land it perfectly in the window. Oh wow! Jump your drone up on the back ledge across to the back of the TV screen. Wait, this is Pox? To this little divot in the wall. Bro, this is Pox? Oh my God, I feel so bad. Everybody in the comments right now is ripping me apart saying you don't know who this is. This is pot guys I'm literally friends with pox and I had no idea. This is him. Oh, no I feel so bad Listen cut me some slack guys. I don't watch any Rainbow Six content. I don't even really watch my videos. I edit them and that's it <laughs> like I don't have TikTok even installed. So forgive me on this one pox is the goat though Yeah, the caves would be hard to see from that range. That's a great twitch spot, though. I didn't know you could vault it up on that little ledge like that. That's awesome. Here's a quick tip for playing Osa. Punching your shield before planting behind it will... Yeah, that's always smart. ...on sound to know whether you're planting or not, rather than seeing you plant through the shield. Definitely. ...safety to your plant and could be the difference between whether or not a nitro comes soaring in to take you out. Follow for more Rainbow Six tips. Yeah, that's a great tip. That is... Oh, that is... Uh... Osa approved. You guys already know I'm like a self-proclaimed Osa main. Or like Osa Pro. 
I support that message. One behind bar, one behind bar. Oh, that nade. Oh, Nate, those nades are so satisfying. Nothing's more satisfying than getting a perfectly timed uh, cooked grenade on the floor, I swear. I have another nade, too. Yeah, I'm sorry. Holding the flank now. Yeah, one's bottom red. One's bottom red, head. Bottom near three ping. Oh, if you got that wall bang. Running up red. I'm nading bar, I'm nading bar. Oh, he is playing below, like, very efficiently. Three nade kills. Two nades, three nade kills, bro. You gotta learn those vertical nade spots, man. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What is this bar wire, bro? Hold on, back this up. You need to take two steps back and four steps to the left. What is this barb? Look how crumbled up it is. Oh, my God. Just to his left is, like, at least two feet of clearance so they can just run by. Oh, yeah, look at the barb. All right, all right. This is about a spawn peak, though. Let's see what the spawn peak is. Wait, is it going to be the drone hole spawn peak? What's going on? It's got to be the drone hole spawn peak. Yep, it is. Oh. You know, I've never gotten a kill through that. Can you believe that? I've been playing this game for seven years. I've never gotten a kill through that. This is the best zombie strat that they can do on border. For okay. your first, keep a barrier, throw it right here. Not a bad spot. This will block the angle to outside, all the way to half fall. So Perfect. Bro, you guys know I hate that angle through this wall, so that's awesome. From this soft fall, and you can also lift this off and just like deny plant by window and also by the door. Then you want to reinforce these two 90 walls. Yep. Impact here and also here. Okay. Make some holes with your deagle. Bro, I used to make these holes all the time with Valk. And directly behind him is that, like, L desk. I would place a cam underneath on the top of the desk, if that makes sense. Like, underneath the, uh, like, actual, like, desk frame itself. And you couldn't see it unless you were on a drone. And you could, like, see out through under these uh, holes here. It low-key was, like, kind of mid. But it was one of those cool things I started doing when Valk first came out. Oh, that's nice. One keyboard barrier right here. This Ooh, a pixel peak. Oh, that is so strong. That's nice. This is a really good strat, man. The only thing you need is some midi S's because one day it comes flying in through break room door and it's toast. So first of all, six or seven meters is the good distance to throw your nade from, and the perfect right. time to let go of your nade is half a second after your finger lifts up. Oh man, this okay. If I tried following this guy's advice, I would die, and not because it's bad advice. It's good advice. It's really good advice. The problem is I'm like so trained to just look at the blinking and know when to like let go. Like I can, I can just look at the blinking of the nade indicator and just know that I need to let go. If I was like diverting my attention to like look at the finger on the nade, I would die, bro. <laughs> That's just me though. And like trying to time it from like certain distances, I swear I can, I can pretty much like impact grenade anything, like no matter where the distance is. So long as the nade can like reach it, I can impact grenade it. It's, I think this is like a really good tip for like starting out, like learning it. But it definitely down the down the line, you want to like. See it blinking and know when to let go. Domains. A lot of you guys in the prep phase, you guys like to shoot out your mozzie pass right away and right. block off any entrances for drones. This yep. is a huge no-no in my opinion. The main objective okay. for mozzie should be shooting cams, and then once the prep phase is over, shoot, shoot out your little like pests. The main right. reason is because you want to kill their drone economy and you want them to have less drones. Sure, if you pick up three drones somehow, that's going to be amazing, but they still have seven left. Yeah. Just picture if you, you know, shoot three in the prep phase and then you get maybe one or two areas that you block off with your pests. Now, even if you get one drone from there, you're still killing their drone economy or you're getting sound indication from any area that they might be pushing. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's a great tip by Garfield there. Basically, what he's saying is like if you were to get three drones in prep phase with your pests, it's still not as efficient and like detrimental to the other team's drone economy if you were to like shoot know three to five drones in the prep phase and then place your pest down and then get you know one to three pests uh that would be like the most ideal situation so 
That is a pretty good, pretty good setup. I think a lot of mods humans do exactly what he said. They just spawn in and they just instantly they pull out their gadget and start throwing them everywhere. I bet you guys didn't know about these two micro game spots. If you aren't using, all right, let's see it. Ice cold. Use these setting your rank and see you instantly rank up. This is a good one, but I think they can plant default still just behind the bomb. So I don't know how how well that one's gonna work for you. This one's good. That one's pretty common. This is probably the best one he's shown so far. Yeah, the only problem I have with this one is you can't like really see the default plant because like default plant is is behind this bar that's broken, but it's gonna be further back. So it's gonna be right behind the bomb. So you're not actually gonna be able to see them. A better place is like up here on the pillar or like on the other pillar. Um, that way you can see behind this bar as well. But either way, they're probably just gonna get like Ash charged or Zofia charged or something because just my show's just like kind of mid right now. I'm a professional Rainbow Six player and here's three tips for playing Nomad. I'm a professional Rainbow Six player and here's three tips for playing Nomad. Number okay. one, by placing your air jabs above doorways instead of beside them, it makes it more challenging for the defenders to shoot them and if they impact the ground to try and destroy it, it won't break. Facts. Two, once you've used your nomad on a door, make sure you avoid peeking it. As the defenders yes. on the other side are praying you peek it, so bro. People and then hit the air jab after. People always fail to know that on nomad, man. Jab, which is your signal to peek and get the kill while they're vulnerable. Exactly. The last tip: nomad isn't just a flank watch operator. There's a lot of sites where you can use the air jabs really well to cut off defenders' rotation and take control yep. of what your team needs for a plant. You can use them to nomad off doorways or rotates between the site. Nomad post plant is crazy, bro. Nomad post plant is crazy. Yeah, the biggest takeaways from this is exactly what he was saying like you you got to make sure you're not peeking the door that you just air jab there's no reason to do it because like you said the the defenders can't do anything like they can't impact it off they can't shoot it so if their only option is to walk through it you can't peek him man because that's that's going to give them the opportunity to kill you and then walk through with no punishment then like using it for post plant too is so important bro like you guys know i love nomad great tips oh when you throw a stun you gotta turn around like this yeah okay. any stun um oh shit on what hold on hold on what Next six tip, a lot of people that know is that oh when you throw a stun you gotta turn around like this yeah, right any stun nah bro let's move on bro what was that <laughs> from underneath. hold on yo let's turn the volume up zilchi talk some more for me bro this is how you need from underneath Oh my god, can you say subscribe for me? Oh my goodness, Zilchi. Hold up. You stopped talking, I'm disappointed. <laughs> oh, he's got the he's got the sneaky drone. Oh yes, drones underneath this are so crazy. You can also use zero cams for this as well. Oh yeah, nice nade. I saw a great uh zero strat with Lion from uh, a YouTuber called Bad. If you guys know who he is, he's a pretty good YouTuber. He, he makes really uh, great tip videos and such. But he, he made a shot where you can throw zero cams underneath the, the beds and then have like a Lion scan and then you Z ping and then just like shotgun from below with Lion. It's crazy strong. But the classical drone and nade works too. No way he gets this frag, right? Oh, um, he is just with the nade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Zilchi's played long enough where he's doing that thing that, that I was talking about. He doesn't even, he doesn't look at his, like, finger on the grenade to know when to throw it, man. He just throws it. Like, he can see when he needs to throw it. Here's how to get black eyes for any gun you want in Rainbow Six. Yo, this is about to be a troll. Hold up, hold up. First, you're going to want to buy an alpha pack. Okay. Then you want to go back to home. Go to operators, select the yeah. operator you want, choose the gun you want, go down to the skins, go all okay. the way down to the last skin, click on it, go back to home, go back and open up your alpha pack. Hold it for five to six seconds. What? I'm about to get then trolled. press Alt F4 because you're never getting black eyes. Yeah, dude. I was about to be like, bro. Dude, do you guys, did you guys ever watch like the Call of Duty troll videos uh, from like... I don't know, like the MW3 days or like Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 days, they would they would make it to where like they would make little kids like shoot the dummies off all the heads and then do like three 360s and it would like buff their gun or something, bro. I was like, I, I got the same vibes from that.
All right, well, that's all the TikToks that my editor had sent me today. Uh, so shout out to all these people. Uh, some pretty good tips, some uh, some funny content from a few of these guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, consider liking. I would appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching.